Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese style Mahjong, also known as Reach. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist if you don't know how to play yet. In that playlist, there's a link to the player reference that I made so that I could learn all the different Yaku and some of the Reach terminology, which I don't know how to pronounce. I do the best I can. Let's play. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. I have a Hanchen indicator. We'll just alternate between east and south. I have six markers because I'm going to try to do six random pulls in 15 minutes. And I'll use those to mark which one I'm on because I have a terrible memory. Uh, I have dice and I'm going to roll these just to randomize which seat I'm in because all those different variables will help me decide on what to go for since I have to have a Yaku knowing the wind of the round and which seat I'm in is pretty critical. So let's see which seat. Nine. Nine is east. So we are east and it is east round, and this is the first random pull. So as east, we get 14 tiles. Let's draw Dora. North is Dora. The progression for winds is east, south, west, north. You can remember that by saying eat soup with nuts. East, south, west, north, and we have a pair north. And we have a pair of green dragons. And we have mostly bams. I'm gonna play Hanitsu. Pung, pung, chow, pung, pair. That is a nice start. Yakus would be pone of dragon, half flush. A half flush is two Han. And the dragon would be a Han. Plus we have Dora. If we could pwn that, that would be three Han. That would be a nice hand right there. Okay, let's go to the next one. We are in seat seven this time. Seat seven is west. And it is south round. As a non-dealer, we get 13 tiles. Okay, let's see what we can do with this one. I'm thinking no honors, Pinfu, maybe. Let's look. We do have Akadora. Oh, we have three pair, maybe all pwn. Toy toy, all pwn is toy toy. Okay, pair, 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 toy toy. We just need to pwn, 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 pwn. Maybe we could make this five dot, the pair. We could get Akadora for that. I forgot to draw Dora. Dora is one crack. We have no Dora. So I would do Toy Toy here. If you would do something different, let me know. For example, we might be able to do Pinfu, but I think there are a lot of gaps and too many pairs. If you disagree, write it in the comment section. Okay, let's go to the next one. We're back to east round, and we are in seat six. Seat six is south. As non-dealer, we get 13 tiles. And let's draw Dora. Five crack is Dora. That'll give us some bonus if we get it. Let's see, ooh, it'd be nice if it's Akadora too. No Dora. 
and we only have one honor but oh my goodness look at this we have a kong wow look at all these dots okay only three discards to get to half flesh that's what i would do potential chi pair potential chi chi half flesh if i drew in dots i'd get rid of that and go for all one suit chinitsu i like playing big hands i like big hands and i cannot lie Okay, let's move to the next one. South round. Seat six. We are south. Non dealers get 13 tiles. Let's see what we can do here. We are seat south, and look what we have. A pair south that can bring us a yaku right there we have a west an east a red can you tell that I like honors there's a one nine and a six six two seven let's see here all right we got a decision to make because we are kind of set up for here's a pair no, 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 that's not a pair. That's potential chi, potential chi. These are all isolated. Pwn, maybe. Okay, so what I would do, I would hold these as long as possible. And if I drew in pairs, I would play all pwn. Otherwise, I would get rid of the two crack first and then the seven, eight, try for half flesh. That would be my Yaku. South round, seat wind. That would be nice score. And then if I could get half flesh, also called Hanitsu, that would even be more. Oh, this is not, this is a chi. That's not a pwn. Get rid of these. That's kind of a bummer because that's a lot of tiles. That's a lot of discards there, but that's what I would do because here we have five discards. If I play Pinfu, which is all cheese, I would have five discards. Either way, I have five discards. Why not go for a bigger scoring hand? Let me know what you would do here. Oh, I forgot to draw Dora. White dragon. Green dragon is Dora, which we don't have. Okay. Let's go to the next one. We're back to East Round. And this time we are in seat 10. 10 is South. Non-dealers get 13 tiles. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, let's draw Dora. One Bam is Dora. No Dora. Oh, yes, we have Dora right there. It was upside down. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a pinfu hand. We have way too many number tiles and not enough winds and dragons. So I would play pinfu. Pinfu is all cheese with a two-sided weight. So the way I would play this is I would throw those first, then chi, 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 these are isolated. We need another Chi in here. This could be one of these. Oh, that could be our two-sided weight. Yeah, this, is, this could be our pair maybe. So I would hold that for my pair. Two-sided weight. Chi, Chi, we need to get something in here. I would hold the four because that might end up being my weight or my pair, not my weight. We need a two-sided weight. Maybe this could be the weight, I don't know. We have, we've got drawing to do. These I would throw away right now. And then of course these. 
I would throw these away first and then try to get some chi potential here. Chi potential pair, chi potential chi, potential chi two-sided weight. This also is a two-sided weight. This would have to play out for sure. If you would do something different, let me know. Okay, last one, south round. We are in seat nine. Seat nine is east. We get 14 tiles this time. Dora is green dragon. No Dora. We have two honors, so I'm thinking this is maybe going to be pin fu. We do have lots of bams, though. Let's just check out the sitch. Okay. Sorry, I used to say check out the sitch when I was a teenager. Let's check out the situation. The situation is, I think, pinfu. Potential chi, right here maybe. Use that akadora. These are isolated. Potential chi, there's a chi right there. Potential chi, throw these. Hold these for as long as possible. So yeah, I would play pinfu. This is a two-sided weight here. This would need to be the two-sided weight. Pinfu, Akadora. That was the last one. Let me know what you think about these random pulls. If you play this version and you're a beginner or intermediate and you have a set at home, pull out your tiles and give this a try and let me know your results. If you don't have a set yet, go to gammonvillage.com. They have reach sets that are quite reasonable and good quality too. This is a really fun style. So much flexibility and strategy. It's quite exciting to play, very sophisticated. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click that bell so you get notification when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these exercises that might help you with your strategy and maybe give you an insight into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese style mahjong, also known as reach, may all your picks be keepers.